Hi, everyone. It gives me great pleasure today to have the opportunity to speak with Hans Weiberg, who is the founder of the mobile app Be My Eyes, which is um, this app helps blind people's everyday things via a smartphone. So Hans, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> so um, let's start um, by telling us more about Be My Eyes. <clears throat> well, um, Be My Eyes is, um, uh, yeah, as you mentioned, it's an app for a smartphone. You can use it on uh, iPhones and on Android phones, uh, also uh, iPad and tablets. Uh, and it's 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 a very simple app. Um, if you are a blind person, uh, you can uh, launch the app and tap one button, and then we will find a volunteer uh, speaking the same language as you do, uh, and we will make a live video connection between uh, the blind person and a sighted volunteer. Uh, and and this means that you, as a blind person, can be in your kitchen and you have. Uh, a bottle of something in front of you and you want to know what it is and then you point your phone at this bottle and the volunteer can uh, describe what it is and you can say okay what's the expiry date or uh, how many minutes does this need to be in the microwave oven or uh, what is uh, my washing machine uh, telling me right now or uh, I have dropped something on the floor can you help me find it or something like that. So I do have experience, you know, using the Be My Eyes app, and it's pretty helpful, especially in my um, everyday lives, uh, um, solving everyday life tasks. So tell us what actually motivated and inspired you to create Be My Eyes, and how did you get started? And how did you get the word out and let more people know about the app? <clears throat> Well, that's uh, some very good questions. Uh, my motivation for starting it is that uh, I'm visually impaired myself. Uh, I have uh, retinitis pigmentosa, uh, also called uh, tunnel vision, and uh, I'm still able to read the text on my phone. Uh, I have one degree vision on one eye, and that is uh, slowly uh, disappearing. So that's a good motivation for creating something uh, that can help you later on. Um, and the way we, um, I, I simply, I was working for the Danish uh, National Federation for the Blind um, and uh, doing that work, uh, I, I, I came up with this idea and, and I, I know a lot of blind people here in Denmark and so on. But I'm not technical at all myself, uh, so I had to find some people to work together with on this idea and I was lucky to find um, uh, a group of people who thought it was a good idea and wanted to, to help me uh, and so on. And, and uh, then we uh, had to raise some money and, and develop and all that. And then, uh, yeah, uh, in 2015, we, we managed to, to launch the app. And then you asked me how, uh, how, how we spread the word. Um, yeah. and, and that is, uh, for me, kind of a, a fascinating story in itself because we, uh, we did raise some money to uh, develop, um, but we didn't really had, have any money for uh, kind of uh, promoting or marketing. Uh, but we were extremely uh, lucky that we got uh, so much press from, the, from day one. Um, because uh, apparently uh, nobody has done this before and it seems to be kind of a, a cute story that everybody wants to kind of uh, tell. So um, we, we got a whole bunch of uh, interviews both in, in radio and television and so on. Uh, and as soon as we uh, got the thing up and running and uh, our volunteers experienced uh, the, uh, how the, the feeling was when, when they were helping people and when uh, blind people were uh, starting to use it, they, they also start to talk about it on, on Facebook and Twitter and so on. So uh, suddenly we were all over the places and, and uh, I, I is especially remember the first time we had uh, two persons in in Japan helping each other 
uh, none of us speak uh, Japanese, uh, we, so we had no clue what, what they were talking about, but we could see that there were two people there helping each other. Um, and I was uh, totally uh, uh, blown away by how fast this thing has spread all over the world and, and people were signing up and actually uh, using it. Uh, and that was in, in January 2015. We, we launched on the 15th of January. And uh, within a, a week, we had uh, 10,000 users and um, uh, I think 70,000 wow. volunteers. It was, we were completely blown away. <laughs> so it was yeah, uh, a funny start, absolutely. Wow, really amazing. So do you know so far how many blind users and volunteers have registered for the app? Yes, uh, altogether we are very close to uh, 250,000 blind and low vision users all over the world. Wow. Uh, and we have uh, more than uh, 4 million uh, volunteers, <laughs> which oh, is uh, wow. also... That's a great number. <laughs> It is. Uh, you see, I'm, I'm from Denmark. We are 5.8 million people in Denmark. So, so we are more than, way more than half the, the population of Denmark. So, uh, and it's, uh, it, it's completely mind blowing for, um, yeah, for me at least. Uh, so uh, that so many people are uh, willing to uh, kind of uh, go into the app store and download the app and sign up and so on. Um, so it's, uh, it, it's, it's a wonderful to experience that so many great people uh, are stepping up to, uh, to be available. Wow, this is really amazing. And I'm wondering why this app is appealing for people then, uh, for users and for volunteers. Well, uh, if we start with the users, um, I think it is appealing because um, now, you see, as a, many people, um, if, if you are blind, you kind of, you adjust to being blind and, and you uh, kind of, uh, if there's no one around, then uh, and, and you kind of wait till someone comes around and, and you're kind of used to that. But, but now you can actually, within 20 seconds, you can get a pair of eyes. Um, so, um, and, and we, we're not saving any, anybody's life or anything, but we are making <laughs> people's life a little more uh, comfortable and, and, and you yeah. don't have to remember to ask your brother when he comes around to look at this uh, letter you got uh, three days ago and so on. Uh, now you can uh, take the phone and you can have someone uh, take a little look at it and then decide if it is something important or what. And if you drop something on the floor, you, you, you don't have to crawl around um, on the floor uh, searching for it. Now you can actually uh, just uh, step a few uh, uh, step away and take your phone and kind of uh, see where it is and go and pick it up. Um, and, and, um, so, and that is just super, super convenient. Um, mm. And also, I, I have noticed that a lot of people are using uh, Be My Eyes uh, when they are cooking. Uh, and if they have uh, two or three different uh, ready meals. Uh, but, but today, I want this specific one. Uh, and, and that can be really hard to, uh, to find out which one of them it is, uh, especially if it has been uh, in the freezer for a while, then you, you cannot uh, OCR recognize anything on, on the... But then the, the volunteer can easily um, tell you what it is and how many uh, minutes it needs to be in the microwave and, and uh, uh, have a great meal and, and, and uh, how is the weather in Hong Kong and so on. Um, and, and you can do that in, in within uh, a minute uh, and, and uh, without uh, kind of disturbing anyone. Because also you, you know that the, the volunteers, they are only signing up because they want to help and they are only yep. picking up exactly your call because they are available so you're not disturbing anyone uh, yeah. uh, anytime so 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 you can you can make 100 calls a day if you want and you will never uh, get a volunteer to say oh, i don't really have time or something uh, because that's the only way uh, that's the only reason why they signed up and to, to help you um and for the volunteers, it is a super convenient way to, to volunteer. Um, yeah. I, I feel that the 
basically every person is helpful and, and want to help, but they also have a busy life. So um, uh, if you normally, if you volunteer, then you have to be uh, every Wednesday night at seven o'clock, you have to go somewhere and do something, uh, uh, training your kids uh, uh, soccer team or whatever it can be. Uh, but with Be My Eyes, you can sign up to be a volunteer and then if you have time and you get the, the, the call, you can say yes. Uh, if you're busy, you just ignore the notification and someone else will pick it up. So it is a really convenient way to, uh, to be a volunteer. Uh, most calls are uh, less than three minutes. Uh, so it's also uh, something you can basically do while you're waiting in line in the supermarket or uh, uh, <laughs> uh, taking a break from work or um, uh, yeah, um, in the evening or whatever. Uh, so it, it's a really convenient way to, to volunteer. I think that's appealing to, uh, to a lot of our volunteers. Yeah, I find this, um, um, this app actually creates a new way of um, volunteering, you know, um, when we think about volunteering, you may think of like face doing something face to face with blind people. However, this one is, um, we can volunteer virtually. So I guess it really appeals to everyone. Um, um, I think you, you earlier you mentioned before you are a visually impaired person yourself. So do you use the app yourself? <laughs> Uh, I do. Um, How do you find see, it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have a wonderful wife and family, so I, I don't use it that much at home. Uh, yes. But um, uh, I have been traveling a lot would, would be my eyes. And, and um, when I'm in a hotel and I'm about to check out, uh, then I always uh, drop something on the floor or forget uh, a charger in, in the, so, so I use <laughs> be my eyes to make sure that I have uh, everything. Uh, and also sometimes if I'm out uh, uh, shopping, I, I have a really hard time uh, finding uh, the right uh, stuff. Um, and then I sometimes use Be My Eyes to, to help me if I cannot find uh, a real person in, in, in the shop. And that can be uh, difficult sometimes. And, and especially in, in these uh, COVID times, yeah. I can kind of, uh, with the site I have, I can pretty much make sure I don't bump into people, but um, uh, I have a hard time finding uh, the right things on the shelf. So uh, that's also where Be My Eyes can be helpful. So. Ah, pretty good. Next time when I travel, I will probably use be my eyes, you know, um, to help me with different things. <laughs> so yeah. out there, there are actually a number of mobile apps helping blind people. So what makes be my eyes different from other apps? Well, uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, I hope that uh, all your blind uh, listeners, uh, they try out uh, every app that is out there and make sure they find uh, the one that fits their life. Uh, if it is Be My Eyes, I'm super happy. If they find something, uh, another app that is working better, they should absolutely use that one. Um, and, and that is just a, a general rule that uh, we, we like if you use Be My Eyes, but we also uh, encourage our uh, users to try uh, every other app that is out there and make sure they, they have what uh, is good for, for their life. Um, and But what makes Be My Eyes special is, of course, that it is a, a free app um, uh, and 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 um, the reason why it's free is because <clears throat> we we are a worldwide app, and 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 maybe the blind people in in, in Denmark and in Hong Kong uh, they can pay some kind of a subscription, but in many many countries uh, the blind people are uh, in in the very low income uh, and. And, and we cannot charge them uh, $10 a month or anything like that. Yeah. And also mm -hmm. because it is a volunteer who is really doing the work. Uh, so we, we didn't feel it was right if we should kind of make money out of volunteers work. <laughs> uh, so, so that's why uh, the, the app is uh, absolutely free. And we, we really, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I think it, it's really beautiful that uh, we have, uh, 
also, uh, let's say in Iceland, uh, there's only uh, uh, 300,000 people living in Iceland and speaking Icelandic. Uh, but they can also use Be My Eyes uh, because uh, we have a uh, 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 sufficient number of uh, Icelandic people uh, signed up uh, and, and in their own language. Um, so this super simple app is uh, also very uh, complicated because we, we can connect people in, in so many different uh, languages. And it is uh, your own countrymen that is uh, stepping up to, to help you uh, in your own language. And they know the, the, the culture and the food ingredients and so on in, in Iceland, and which is uh, somewhat different from uh, Denmark and uh, Azure, <laughs> different from, from, from your country and so on. Uh, but, but if we connect the right people with the right people, uh, they understand each other. Hmm. For me, the app is really good that, you know, it connects people around the world and it um, gives me experience of having a real person helping me instead of, you know, having a robot or AI help me. Help me. So mm. I feel more personable and, you know, um, I enjoy, you know, having little chats with volunteers as well. I remember I had an experience, you know, my volunteer is actually a pilot and then I had a little chat with him. So I enjoy this kind of interaction as well. Yeah. Well, that that's wonderful. And uh, yeah, I hope he was not flying in the meantime, but... <laughs> 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 um, so to create this app, actually, I'm sure you must have faced a lot of um, challenges. Could you tell me um, some of the challenges you faced or you expect you will face in the future? <clears throat> Well, um, the, the challenges was, in, in the very beginning, you see, I, I came up with this idea back in 2012. And mm. in 2012, there wasn't that many apps for blind people. Uh, and uh, maybe more important, um, there wasn't that many developers who were uh, into making apps uh, accessible. accessible. So uh, we had to spend some time looking for the right people to, um, to develop the app, uh, to make sure that it was uh, uh, absolutely state-of-the-art uh, accessible uh, from the beginning. Uh, and then, of course, uh, 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 raising the money to, to hire these people uh, was kind of a challenge. Um, and, of course, we... Um, till this day, we we uh, we are challenged uh, with uh, raising the money to to um, to make it a, a sustainable business. Um, and I, I would like to explain how we do that because uh, you you can you can call a volunteer, uh, but you can also tap into a section called specialized help, where you can call company like uh, Google and Microsoft. Um, and, and Google and Microsoft and some other companies around the world, they pay BYIs a monthly uh, subscription to be on our platform. Uh, and you can say that we are helping them be better uh, companies for their blind customers. Uh, and for the blind people to uh, go into specialized help and call, for instance, uh, Microsoft uh, via Be My Eyes, the benefit is that um, when the call comes from Be My Eyes, they know it is a blind person and they make yeah. sure that the, the right group of people in the Microsoft uh, company is answering the call. Those people who know about, uh, they know what a screen reader is and they know what, what programs we are using and so on. And they will be way better able to to assist and, and, and guide uh, the blind users uh, having issues with uh, some kind of a, a setup or something like that. So uh, we think it's a win-win-win uh, situation there, so. Yeah. Um, any interesting stories from either blind users or volunteers using the app? Like any mm -hmm. romance or? <laughs> 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 um, 
yeah. <laughs> we, uh, you, you see, um, we, uh, I, I get a lot of emails uh, and um, we have had uh, a few emails uh, uh, who are telling me that um, they met this uh, wonderful person and then they exchanged uh, phone numbers and, and now they have been uh, in contact and even visiting uh, each other and so on. So, <clears throat> so I don't think we have any one get got gotten married or anything yet, but, <laughs> but maybe that will, <clears throat> that will come someday. Um, but we have, we have a lot of stories like, uh, one of my, my favorite stories uh, is that um, uh, this uh, lady in, in Washington, uh, she was uh, blind and uh, singing in a choir and she was uh, about to go and visit uh, or sing with the choir, but she needed to make sure that she had the black shoes on. And she was using uh, Be My Eyes, uh, made a call uh, and asked the volunteer, say, I'm, I'm going to sing in my choir, but I need a pair of uh, black shoes. Are you singing in a choir? I'm also singing in a choir, the lady in Ireland replied. And then they forgot all about the black shoes and started, what are you singing and what are we singing and, and, and so on. And they had a long conversation about that. Uh, and by the end of the conversation, they finally got back to the black shoes. Uh, mm -hmm. But also um, the lady in Ireland was uh, actually with her choir. Um, so they were singing, they were singing across the Atlantic for this uh, blind lady in Washington and, and you can say, uh, yeah, yeah, and so on. Uh, but, but it just uh, a kind of a, a funny, uh, for me at least, uh, pretty unforgettable uh, uh, interaction and, and they had a, a, a wonderful time. Uh, it could have been done in 15 seconds, but, but now they had like a, a 20 minute uh, conversation and were laughing and singing and having a great time. So uh, of course, not all uh, <laughs> Be My Ass Call is, is, is like this, but, but uh, we, we do have um, and of course, um, when you discover that you're talking with someone from another part of the world, um, yeah. it, it's kind of interesting just to hear, okay, how is the weather in uh, New York or in uh, Sydney or whatever? Um, and and uh, you have a little conversation and, and very often you, you end up uh, maybe... Um, <laughs> It's important that you respect that, that the volunteers and, and the blind people, they are anonymous. So yeah. you don't have to uh, answer any question, but, but sometimes you get to, to get talking and, and, and that's also perfectly okay. So. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty wonderful experience. And uh, wow, very good story. <laughs> <laughs> so any future plan of um, developing the app? Yes, <clears throat> we, we actually have a, a, a number of plans. Um, we, we would really like to be able to support blind people who are uh, trying to get a job or who has a job. And we are developing uh, something we call Be My Eyes for Work where you can get uh, assistance uh, while you are at work, but in a kind of a closed system. So you don't share any information that are not supposed to be shared uh, outside the company and so on. Um, and also um, we, we try to bring, uh, this is something I personally have been working on the last uh, two months of bring uh, more and more blindness organizations on board. Um, and we have also been talking to, to your organization in Hong Kong and I hope to have you on board as well. Uh, in, in the specialized help section, and the, the point is that we want it to be super, super easy for uh, blind people in, in any country to be in contact with their uh, preferred um, uh, blindness organization uh, in a super easy way. Um, and we are also talking to uh, the uh, national audio libraries because they also have uh, uh, something uh, that they need to solve sometimes uh, with their uh, blind users. Uh, and they can also use um, the Be My Eyes uh, specialized help uh, feature. Um, and, and of course also um, education. Um, we have a super interesting little 
um, a startup in India who, who is uh, providing uh, a, a education for blind people and, and, uh, and, and they are partly using uh, the Be My Eyes platform and, and we would very much like to look more into how we can uh, assist or help uh, blind people uh, get the skills that they need. Um, and my dream is that we can, uh, in the future, we can kind of uh, connect blind people to each other. So you can teach me how to learn Braille, or I can teach you something on the iPhone or uh, something like that. That will be kind of a, a dream in the beginning, but we are not there yet. But uh, that will be kind of uh, my dream. The ideas and your plan sounds really great. I guess, especially for um, your idea that you would like to help blind people um, um, in terms of um, in their work. You know, uh, when I was uh, a secretary in a bank, you know, I am I was not able to do stuff uh, like handling my boss um, travel um, expenses re uh, reimbursement because I was not able to read the written receipts so mm. unfortunately this task had to pass to my colleague but i guess with the future development of be my eyes maybe the app or the volunteer could help me sort this out and then um it actually helped broaden blind people's skills yeah that, that's what we hope and and uh, also um if you are a, a blind person working at an, an office or something uh, you will most likely ask your colleague sitting next to you um, yeah. when you bump into something on the computer or uh, and and I'm sure that the person next to you is willing to help you uh, but I'm also sure that you will feel kind of uh, I have asked her three times today I better find another one and so on yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and even though you, you kind of know the person next to you is more than happy to help you it, it's just that feeling that you, you don't like to kind of ask the same person again yeah, and, seems and, like and I'm not independent <laughs> enough <laughs> yeah exactly and and yeah. the what what people like about be my eyes is that you press on a button and then someone who is willing to help you say yes uh, and we we try to take that into the work environment uh, so that you kind of have a, a number of colleagues that uh, are willing to um, but you don't ask a specific person you just send uh, this uh, uh, request out uh, and those who have the time and so they will say yes and then we will connect those two persons. Um, but the, the point is that many companies, they, they will not allow you to share uh, company information whatsoever with, with uh, people outside the company. Um, but many times uh, it is something that can be done within a minute or something like that. So, um, and it will take uh, more time both for you and for your uh, colleagues if you have to go find someone and show them and explain them and so on. Uh, so we hope that we can kind of streamline this a little bit and make it more efficient and uh, maybe most important, uh, convenient and, and for, for everybody involved. So, so that's what we hope to do. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this development. Um, you know, as a blind person yourself, your experience actually motivated you to create an app and help the blindness community. Can you actually say something, you know, to our members who are visually impaired um, to encourage them, you know, to contribute to the blindness community or even to pursue their dreams? Mm, yeah, <clears throat> well, um... I'm not good at advice, but, but I can uh, say <laughs> if I, as a, a blind 56-year-old man from a very small country like Denmark, uh, can make something like uh, Be My Eyes, then I'm sure some people uh, more smart than me, and most are, uh, <laughs> can make uh, <laughs> uh, uh, other um, amazing uh, things. Um, one thing I will say, though, is that uh, for me, having a team around my idea um, and has been absolutely uh, amazing. Uh, and, and without my team, I, I would never have 
succeeded in in making uh, be my eyes uh, do anything um, so um, if you have an idea uh, don't be, be afraid to share it with uh, with with some uh, good friends and, and make sure you have a, a team around your idea because you will have uh, sad days uh, that where you need your team to <laughs> comfort you a little bit um, and uh, especially you need the, the different uh, skills that the different uh, people have uh, I'm not a salesperson. I can talk a lot, but I'm not a salesperson. Uh, so I need, <laughs> I need uh, people to kind of go and, and do the, the selling. And, and uh, I'm definitely not a developer, so I need people to, to develop for me and, and also keep track of uh, Facebook and Twitter and, and um, TikTok and I don't know what's called all of it. Um, so, um, so teamwork is, uh, has been, for me, really, really uh, essential uh, in, in the success of BMIS. Mm, great. Thank you so much. Um, before the end of our interview, um, could you let us know where can we find the app? And if they want to know more about the app, where can they go? Well, if you are on um, on Facebook, you just uh, search for Be My Eyes, and the same goes for, for Twitter. Uh, I, I would say that the main resource is our website, BeMyEyes.com, uh, where you can find uh, interviews, and you can find uh, pictures, and you can find description, and you can also find description in a, a number of different uh, languages. Um, and you can find a direct link to the app. Uh, it's available in um, App Store for um, uh, iPhones uh, and in uh, what do you call it? Play Store, I believe it's called for Android. Um, so, uh, but just search for BeMyEyes.com and you will find our website and there will be a direct link to, to where you can download the app. Um, and if you have any questions for uh, me or my team, you can send an email to info at BeMyEyes.com and we will uh, we get a lot of emails so you might not respond uh, immediately <laughs> <laughs> but we will try to um, to get back to you as soon as possible yeah it's a really a very good app that um, everyone should try it out so thank you so much again hans for your time and we are looking forward to the new developments of the app Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you and uh, I hope that many of your listeners will try it out themselves and uh, tell their family to sign up as uh, volunteers so, so we can uh, keep the movement. <laughs>